20 seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Nisha joined with Drew. And today we have some news for y'all. The Texans have put in a request to interview Rams offensive coordinator Kevin O'Connell for the head coaching job. And he's also interviewing with the Broncos and Vikings. And so um, before I start, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more Texans updates. And um, basically, um, Kevin O'Connell and Nick Casario have a connection, but in a way that he might not have thought of. Nick Casario was in his first year as the Pages Director of Player Personnel when New England drafted Kevin O'Connell. Yes, drafted Kevin O'Connell in the third round in 2008, but he's been like a journeyman um, since then. So, um, it w so he didn't have a great career so far as a player, but as a coach, he's been quickly rising up the ranks. And this has been seen, um, I mean, first for starters, he's very young. He's only 36 years old. And although he doesn't call plays for the Rams, it's clear that, that he's respected around the league. Um, for example, when ch um, the Chargers hired um, Staley um, for their head coach um, position, he really wanted um, Kevin O'Connell, um, but the Rams blocked O'Connell from interviewing with them. So um, that shows that they really wanted to keep him in the building. And also in um, 2019, um, when Washington had Jay Gruden as their head coach, they promoted him to, uh, they promoted O'Connell to offensive coordinator so they wouldn't lose him. So it's clear that he has heavy input um, on the offense and he's known to be a good teacher to adjust to the personnel. But Drew, what are your like instant reactions of Kevin O'Connell being a possible head coach candidate for the Texans? I first of all think that it's really, really good. It, I'm happy to see that they're reaching out, looking at these playoff teams, looking at the offensive coordinators specifically. And really, if you look at the entirety of the playoffs, you have a bunch of offensive coordinators that are young. And what I think the Texans are really looking at is that, you know, Sean McVay tree, the tree that's been really growing. You know, you have the Andy Reid tree, the John Harbaugh tree, the Bill Belichick tree that's kind of, you know, based on success, hasn't been so well. But the Sean McVay tree has been something that's been pretty successful. And the Shannon tree, which is kind of a mix of both. You really look at it, you have uh, Matt LaFleur, uh, the Packers head coach, obviously, has had a fantastic record. You have Zach Taylor, the Sean McVay tree. He worked for the Rams. And then the newest riser here is Kevin O'Connell. Like you said, he has a pretty big past. He worked for the Redskins for a while. But yeah, like you said, the connection to the Patriots, I think, is key because if you look at the connections so far, who is Nick Sir interviewed, he's interviewed, you know, Heinz Ward, a former player, interviewed Jonathan Gannon, who's like a player's coach. So you're really looking for someone who can just connect with players. Someone who's experienced what these guys are experiencing. You know, David Coley was 66 years old. I guess he was kind of a teacher, kind of a leader, but he doesn't really fit in with the modern NFL standard and everything that goes on from a day to day as a player. So when you have guys like Kevin O'Connell coming here, it's really good. And schematically, I feel like he, if he's able to bring over the Rams system, have a very West Coast scheme, and you also see Cooper Cup, a guy who's just been elevating and elevating and elevating the past couple of years is because of that Rams scheme. He basically gets a free release every single play. You'll never see Cooper Cup, you know, line up on the line, outside. He'll at least, if he's on the outside, he'll a little bit behind the line of scrimmage. He'll come in motion. He'll be in the slot. He'll play a little tight end. And I feel like that's something that Brandon Cooks has always done really well. So you have two players off the bat that I know could 100% benefit from that, being Davis Mills. He definitely fits in a West Coast scheme. He's been pretty tremendous on his short-term accuracy. Actually, one of the better passes deep passing, in, you know, statistically. But I think that the development of Davis Mills is key. Using guys like Brandon Cooks is key. And Kevin O'Connell. Clearly, has the connections. Yes, he's interviewing with the, the Broncos, but I feel like the Texans could be a really good fit for him. He knows Nick Casario. He also knows a great buddy of Nick Casario and Josh McDaniels, who could have possibly been the, the Colts head coach. He could have brought Kevin O'Connor there. It was rumored that um, when the Browns hired Kevin Stefanski, Josh McDaniels was also in the running, and he could have also brought Kevin O'Connor to the offensive corner. So, like Anish said, He's a desirable head coach. And the Texans keep continuing to add desirable head coaches like Jonathan Gannon, 
to that list just a couple of days ago. The wide search of the Texans are doing so far is very impressive. Kevin O'Connell is young, former player. He played for five NFL teams, been coaching for a while. Very desirable scheme. So much to like from what Kevin O'Connell could bring to this team. Yeah, and just more on his background, like I said, um, is he's in year two as a Rams offensive coordinator after three years in Washington. His last year was offensive coordinator. He's a QB coach before that with the 49ers and the Browns. And he's worked under McVay, Gruden, Chip Kelly, Mike Patin uh, with offensive coordinator John DeFlippo. So obviously, he, despite being very young in his coaching career, um, O'Connell has had a lot of great mentors around him. And also mentioning just like Nick Casero, he seems to be going for someone who has like a decent amount of coaching experience, but is relatively young um, and has like has like not too many years at coordinator. So like looking at O'Connell, O'Connell, um, Jonathan Gannon, um, he's previously like going on about Mike Tomlin, who only had one year at a defensive coordinator position. So it's very interesting to see what type of uh, that Nicholas here is going with and um, to see what um, who we eventually hire, I guess. And I really hope so it happens maybe sooner rather than later. I Maybe it happens after the playoffs are done or something like that. Maybe there's an under the table agreement. Um, Drew, do you have any like idea of maybe like a possible coaching staff that O'Connell could bring? Do you think we still keep um, a Pep Hamilton or not considering O'Connell's like offensive kind of coach? Yes, yeah, so that's kind of hard because he does have experience and just being a player around the NFL really does help. You know, coaches that you uh, played for, you. He worked with, uh, let's see, he worked for the Browns, the 49ers, the Redskins, now the Rams. So there's a lot of stuff that he can do there. But I still think it's in the best interest of the team just to keep Pat Hamilton. Davis Mills really seemed to love him in that post you know, press conference uh, for the end of the season. He talked about him. He really hopes that Pat Hamilton stays. I saw that Pat Hamilton declined the interview with the Panthers just yesterday. So I feel like all signs kind of point to that. Now, defensively, I really am not sure. Um, you could keep Levy Smith. You could get somebody from the former Redskins staff because he just worked there in 2019. And then the Rams seem to have a decent staff. You know, they had Brandon Staley just last year. So they have a decent development of defensive coaches. But really, with Kevin O'Connell, since he's so young, you really could see us keeping most of the staff. Yeah, and um, also there's just more about Kevin O'Connell. Um, he's been known to be a QB guru who's helped Kirk Cousins throw for 4,000 yards and 27 touchdowns in uh, 2017, but then also had to deal with like a variety of quarterbacks and Alex Smith, Josh Johnson, Colt McCoy, and Mark Sanchez all in 2018, and then had Haskins in 2019. So, but then he also worked with Jared Goff in 2020, and then Matthew Stafford has a career high in touchdowns, but also interceptions um, this year. Um, so it's a, it's a lot that he's dealt with, but he's been known to adjust to personnel. That's what he's been um, been touted for. So we'll see about that, but, but that's pretty much it for the video. Let us know your thoughts on this potential hire for head coach. And Kevin O'Connell, Rams offensive coordinator. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you all for watching. Peace.